Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here and today I'll be covering a game called Alex Kid in Miracle World DX. This is basically a remake of the original game, first released in 1986 on the, I believe the Sega Master System. Yeah, this game is as old as me, but anyways, this game, Alex Kid in Miracle World DX was developed by Merge Games, Jonkin Team, and was published by Merge Games. And it was released onto the Xbox One, Series S, Series X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch, and the PC on June 22nd, 2021 with MSRP of 1999. As always, the exact release date and pricing may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Alright, I never played this game back then. I think uh I was probably like, I don't know, a couple months old at the time, so <laughs> that one. Wait, was the Mega System out back then? I don't even know. I remember playing on an NES though. Maybe not the Mega System. Mm. Anyways, why don't go into it? I'm gonna start a new game. I'm not gonna lie, this game is hard. Okay. Young man train day and night to master Sherko Marshall discipline. Alex was not aware, but at the time, the Radaxian region was under threat from Jonkin the Great and his minions. Jonkin is Jonkin Pole, like the rock, paper, scissors? That's how they say it in Japan, I believe. Jonkin Pole. <laughs> So if you press V, I'm playing on keyboard, you get the, uh, yeah. Original graphics. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm playing on keyboard, because I play every game on keyboard, and this is the one game where I'm like, uh, maybe I shouldn't play on keyboard. It's pretty hard because the amount of space you move is, uh... It's a lot. So, these star blocks give you money, and you can use money to buy items at the item shop at the start of each level. Uh, everything kills you in one hit. And be careful, if I hit that again, I think I'll get the uh, ghost to come out. I'm not sure how the mechanics work. But you can punch everything as far as I can tell. So, yeah. Oh no! Okay. Oh no. No! Ah! And I lost my ring power. Darn it. I'm not very good because I never played this game before and uh... You know, I didn't have a lot of time to practice, so... I'm just gonna skip the money. we will just go... Oh, it was a trap! <laughs> When you die, you have to start the level over. So when you die, you still have lives left. You start at a checkpoint in the level. When you die, die, you have to start at the very beginning of the level. The hitbox for your punch is very generous, so... Uh oh, uh oh, darn it. Uh, but I believe the hitbox for enemies are a l little bit larger than I like, but they make up for for the fact that your punch hitbox is insanely huge. Okay. If you use a bracelet, you can just throw these out. And it's pretty handy. You kind of don't want to lose it, you know? I don't care about the money at all. Oh, that's a trap. I noticed that now. It goes on that little poison block where it summons the ghost dude, and then he just keeps chasing you down, and then you die. Unless you run away from him. It's, it's, the game isn't hard. Uh, it's just... It's not very aware what you're supposed to do, because, you know, you die so easily. So I would say it's more like... Instead of being difficult, you just have to kind of understand how how to beat it. 
So once you do, it's fairly easy and it's not that difficult. It's like one of those games where if you keep playing it, you're gonna get better. Oh no! Oh, I touched the bubbles. I meant to go sneak to the side. Oh, okay. If you punch the blocks with the poison indicator, it will, uh, it will stun you a little bit. No! What? I touched him? What the heck? Alright, we, we go again. I guess we could just avoid him. But I want to kill him. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> if you get the Onigiri, at the end, you beat the level. And then you don't have to worry about dying ever again. For that level, because it saves your progress. Alright, so if you press up. The up arrow key, you get to go in the shop. And then you can use your coins. I don't know what each item does. Like, I bought a motorcycle, and then you're actually on a motorcycle. And then, like... You go super fast, I didn't know what was happening, and I just crashed it. So I was like, well, that was a waste of money. Oh, it's so easy with the bracelet now. Oh my god, it's a joke. I'm still probably gonna die, though. Yeah, I'm not good at the game. <laughs> I think it's- Oh my god, I touched that. Now I lost my ring power. Darn it. One life? Oh, because I died previously. Ah, okay. I gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Punching. You know what? I don't care about the money. The game feels pretty good, other than playing on keyboard for moving. You have to do precise platforming. Not too precise, but precise enough where if you mess it up, you die. And the amount of... What the heck? <laughs> what was that? Amount of uh, space you move forward per button press on the arrow keys is a little, a little hard to control for me. So I'll recommend playing this on a controller. I'm managing fine. It's just a little bit more hard. I you notice the bad guy's a hand. You play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. What? Hmm. I thought I was supposed to show what he's gonna do. Weird. 
I think it let you win. In the second boss fight, you can see what they're gonna pick, so you just have to counter it before they pick it. Yeah, I think it lets you win automatically. <laughs> Stay away. Okay. It's not an animal video with otters recently, and they're really super cute. And I was like, how do you. Where do you get an otter as a pet? What otter does? Ha ha ha. Power. No! No, I did it again. I stepped in the lava. See, it's very hard to see in this game sometimes or differentiate between foreground and background. And uh, that darn lava area, I don't know why my brain is like, there's, there's grass, you can just step on that, it's no problem. guy that invaded you're the son <laughs> there's some lore here but I mostly the platforming okay oh I'm supposed to smash spacebar okay there we go see I didn't know how to play because this game doesn't really explain okay anything there's like no manual or anything so you know I was like, uh, do I hold space bar? It turns out you mash it. Ooh, ooh, don't do it. What? That killed me. <laughs> oh my god, alright, whatever. Oh, and I start off here. Not even cool. Alright. I was streaming this and uh, I was not feeling it at all because you know, sometimes you have down days, right? And uh... yeah, it was too difficult for me to play. I just wanted something to veg out on. I mean, uh, it looks like a little beaver, if you ask me, like a little teeth. more money. It's easy, just literally fly past everything. No! What that? <laughs> How did that, uh... I don't even understand what happened, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, I didn't know that that ore was something or ore ox. What is the ore? I didn't know that was something that was gonna charge me and I died the first time. <laughs> Could be getting old, you know.
Geodude. Yeah, see if I can do this on keyboard, anyone can, but I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, it's not the easiest, nor is it the most pleasant thing to do. <laughs> I'm not collecting everything because uh, I'm tired of dying. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? No! You can activate infinite lives mode, by the way, if you're tired of dying. But, uh, it will disable some achievements. Okay. I may need to activate it when I play it for my, myself. But uh, repeating the levels over and over again, why can't I get through? It's pretty good for uh, learning the levels. Like it actually teaches you how not to be bad. Okay, now this is a lot easier. There are sneaker areas like that. No, see that uh, those those roof tiles, the, that color palette. I can't. It doesn't stick out for some reason. Everything looks flat. So it feels like I should be able to jump into it, but I can't. Okay. Oh my god. All right. I thought I could do like a fall off and jump while I'm falling. We go again. And then I will call it soon for this game because. That should give you guys an idea of what the game is like. I think if you're a fan of a platformer, this is pretty good platforming. So like right there, I did the fall and jump thing about. No! <laughs> Jumped too far. Sad every time I lose the, the bracelet, you know. Gotta punch things the old fashioned way. Yeah, that's not what I meant to punch. Okay, and I touched the fire. Scared that the fire will kill me. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm stuck. No, I can't see that dark red thing. I must be colorblind. Platforming is terrible. I'm playing on uh, keyboard right now, and uh, ain't the easiest, fellas. Ain't the easiest thing in the world. I'm very stubborn though, and I play everything on keyboard and mouse. I beat Dark Souls 1 and 3 on keyboard and mouse. Uh oh. Should be the bracelet. Our extra life, or right, I'll take that. I don't know what that thing is.
Okay, we made it. Now you can see it. It's kind of disturbing that they're giant heads, you know? Kind of weird. It was weird to me that uh, these boss fights were so easy, but getting to them was so hard. In retrospect, the levels are, are passable now, but when I was first playing it, boy, I was struggling. I'm still struggling. Oh, this... Okay. This is where I got stuck on the boss fight. I was struggling so hard here. <laughs> you guys don't even understand. I couldn't get past this first part. didn't hit the block. There's monkeys throwing like slow mangoes. I'm like, how do they resist the laws of physics? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Getting very hard on on keyboard fellas. You guys don't understand my pain right now. What? What the heck? Why don't I get a bracelet? Is it random? Hmm. Okay. I'll try one more time. We'll call it there. I don't have any money. I got. Yeah, it's one of those games where it looks hard, but when you play it... As I say this as I die. Uh, it's fairly manageable, it's just you didn't know how to get past it. And once you do, it's like, you know what, I can do it. Sometimes I miss the punch. Oh, 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 see them. Break. Yeah, use a controller. <laughs> Again, I can beat most games on keyboard and mouse, including this one, but this one by far is giving me the, the greatest struggle. I thought I punched that. And I jumped straight in. <laughs> alright, alright, next run's the last one for real, okay? Hey fellas, here we go. Perfect run. Okay, though, you know? I don't get what those monkeys are throwing. Are they mangoes or like limes? There you go. This one I couldn't beat. I didn't understand where to punch this guy if you have fists only.
No, see the mangoes coming in. The sword's so big. If you touch the guy, you die too. Frick! Now I have no bracelet. This one's a this one's kind of rough. I bet it's really easy once I figure it out, and all the people who are like good at this game are like, "Wow, oh, this guy sucks." <laughs> Why don't we call it there? I'm enjoying it, but it's definitely not a game that I want to play when I just want to relax, because uh, it's not the easiest game in the world. I wouldn't say it's too difficult. Uh, you can beat a level. After a certain amount of tries, it's not like Dark Souls where I was stuck at Nameless King for 56 attempts or something, you know? Anyways, Alex Kid in the Miracle World DX out now, 19.99, and developed by Merch Games and John Continue and published by Merch Games. Hopefully, that gave you guys an idea what the game is like, and hopefully, you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see, or for me to cover. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And I will catch you guys next time. I really want to make some guides and do like speed runs and stuff on this game, but it's gonna take me too much time, so <laughs> I probably won't do it. Too much effort. I don't like the skill. Alright, catch you guys next time. <laughs>